Hi everybody, welcome back, Mage with me, Sid, and uh, I've been, well, I've been kind of busy, um, mainly building and farming, uh, <laughs> farming the magical crops, because I've got these, I've got all these, uh, oh, oh, that probably washed out, that's why, so I've got the fire element, uh, I've got water, I've got earth elements going, I've got gold going at the moment. Uh -huh. Bit like that. And uh, da -da, where are we? Yeah, so I've got quite a lot of these seeds going. Uh, there is one more I need, however, and that is obsidian seeds. Um, I've got tons and tons of various essences and there's a reason for that. Uh, let me just eat. If we take a look at fire for example, if you look at that we can use it, the fire I specifically got for the lava bucket, but you can also combine it with earth to make cobble or sand, which that in its, I mean I'm not worried about cobble, I can get cobble anywhere. Sand, you know, I have to go out and actively go and find a, well there's a desert over that way, quite a bit away. Um, but more importantly, um, certainly more importantly for my purposes, is the use of this earth um, thing. So with one water and three earth we can make leaves. Again, not a biggie, I can get those quite easily. But two earth and two water make clay, and I'm going to need a lot of clay in the future. I don't think I'm going to need any of the other stuff there. So these natural elements are pretty useful. Now I need to make uh, obsidian seeds. Let me just go. So obsidian seeds are regular essence, which is just that with some essence seeds. And for obsidian, which I should have over here, over here in fact, one more. So I've got four obsidian. Now, the essence from those can obviously be made used to make obsidian, which in itself is pretty useful. I think it's just a regular I need, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Because um, obsidian is a pain to get. I mean, I can make the lava and I can turn the lava into obsidian and mine it with my spell, so it's not a biggie, but it's still a pain. Uh, especially considering if you make a big enough pool of lava, you've got a pretty good chance of a lobber materialising in your life and wanting to make it particularly miserable. So, oh, I don't need the weak, I just need the regular then. So, that'll make one, that'll make two, that'll make three, and that'll make four. Bang. Uh... Let me put those away, grab one of those, and we need to do da, 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 and da, 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 da. Now we're not going to spend ages on seeds today, you'll be pleased to know. Um, this is kind of bringing myself to a point where, oh, I don't need to go in there, to a point where I've got quite a few resources growing magically and uh, you know I've taken the blaze out I've got so much blaze essence now I don't think I'll ever need blaze rods again uh, certainly not for a good while coal I'm doing because that's actually not a bad source of um, power for the Britannia but what I have done down here is I've dug out my spawning chamber so and I've, I've kind of done some of the work on it not all of it but at the moment Oop, that turns the lights off. There's a light at the far end which is lights up and if we flip that down that's our excess. So spawners will go in the middle and potentially one here, one here, one to this side, one to this side. So we could actually have quite a lot of spawners. And then they go down into the drop zone down there where we can kill them and get our experience. All good so far but there's no mechanism to push them and I want to actually get endermen in this trap. Uh, I'll probably make the end of them in the very bottom spawner so they've got room to spawn. End of of course, with water, not a good idea. Now, we could use open blocks fans and various things like that, but we're using extra utilities with the tech removed. And one of the blocks I left in was the extra utilities conveyor belt because I didn't think it was that techy. Um, let me just go and get that up here. Conveyor belt, because it uses rails, and that's kind of 
seems kind of primitive to me. So, I'm going to make a bunch of those. Um, I've got plenty of iron. Uh, maybe enough, if not, I'll get some more. I have got also plenty of uh, redstone. We'll just take a stack in a bit. And I've got plenty of wood to make sticks. So, let the rail making commence. Uh, let me just take two of those, that'll make me a bit more. So I'm going to make, I'm trying to think how big that was, it was uh, 5 by 5 so that's going to need 25 at least, plus a few going down, so yeah, I think I'm going to need probably about 30, about half a stack of uh, these conveyors, so I will get those done and be right back with you. Right, we got those made, didn't take long at all. <laughs> Um, but yeah, because these are, as I say, non-magical non in nature, I, I don't feel they don't fit in the pack, because they've kind of got that primitive rail motif, as I said earlier. Now, because I want to bring things, I'm going to have the channels run down here and down here, and these are slightly staggered, and the re there is a reason for that, and the simple reason is... When mobs come down, when you have them at the same height, they tend to jostle, and I'm hoping this staggering will will make them a little bit less prone to things. Now, I did forget one thing, which is I wanted some glass as well. Um, so I'll go and grab that. A little bit of glass, and um, possibly some stone slabs, I think. And then we're going to need to make a couple of diamond dollies, and we are off to get our first spawners which are going to be the good old witchy, one, witchy ones, witchy spawners, because witch spawners are pretty useful. Now, somewhere about, I have got glass, and uh, I need to actually go mining, just using silt, uh, my silt touch again, because I'm really running low on this stone. Uh, the reason for that is I've actually completed the tower now. Um, I've got the next phase is quite a bit down the line and that is to build the tree but I'm not building a tree until I can flame proof the damn thing <laughs> um, yeah so there we go it's got a roof on it we've got all of that up there um, in a future episode we're going to be decorating that uh, using one of the mods we got in the pack which is why I need lots of clay but enough about the future let's talk about now and so it's, yeah I haven't got anywhere near enough have I <laughs> What we can do is get me old spell going and go boom, boom. I want you in my room. And that will go down there. And then we'll just take that out temporarily. And boom, boom. Uh, and they will go in there. And we'll put that back here. Similarly, we've got on this side, boom, boom. And boom boom now the benefit of doing this of course is now I need to let me just destroy that because if I F7 you'll notice these are spawnable so I need to go down I'll probably take a little bit of fall no I didn't really take much fall damage at all there which is good this is the way we like it uh, we'll chisel up this glass yeah, uh, to... I'm going to go with borderless, actually. And we'll pop you in like that. We'll have you out and you out. And we'll just pop that in there. That can be my little batting, batting point. And we'll stick that there for now. So that should be good enough for anything that spawns in that dark zone. That's, um, it's, you know, it's possible. This. So up we go. Uh, we are pretty safe at the moment. So what we're going to have then is... Uh, there should be no lights in here other than the uh, redstone ones. And we'll take this out, this floor here. Uh, and I'll, I'll do 
do all three lanes. And then we can start placing our conveyors in like so. And I am definitely going to need a lot more conveyor belts than this. So, yes, I didn't even have enough for that bit. So I'm going to need probably a good bit of stack. Oh, he just, just spotted the, um, the, the one cause. Let me just clock that up. I'm going to make some more of these conveyors and I will be right back with you. Right, got a bunch more. A stack and a... I made about a stack and a quarter, I think. So hopefully that'll be enough. And... The trick here is going to be to guide them so they don't... Oh dear, that wasn't good. Um, we <laughs> Right, and the up. <laughs> uh, I could have just chiselled those, of course. That would have been the alternative there, but there you go. This is just nothing fancy there. It's just a switch going on to some redstone lamps. So, you know, I'm not bothered demonstrating how to make that because... You make a redstone lamp, you run some redstone over it. It is that simple. So, yeah, right. So we can get this in, like a so. Now, the nice thing with these is I can fight against You can fight against them. They're not quite as bad as MFR conveyor belts for that. So what we will do here is take out everything on now that is we'll, we'll do these anyway because they won't necessarily be spawners there to start off uh, and we'll it doesn't really matter how we do this to be honest um, yeah that should do us and then we can we can fight against this uh, uh, hey this is going to be fun Hup, 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 hup. So that should pull us that way, that takes us that way. Lovely. And then we'll do one here. Let me just put that back. That was there for a reason, because the Enderman is going to be where the Enderman spawner is going to go where the stone is now. There are plenty of Enderman spawners. There's really not a shortage of those. Which spawners, we've got plenty of places to find them. That was just me attempting to put a switch on the inside, but uh, it didn't. It turned out not to be necessary. So, and we'll we'll just kind of stagger these again. So the there is no real rhyme or reason for this. Uh, so I'll have one like that, one like that, and one like that. Now the nice thing with these is if I want to come in here I can place a block on it and obviously that will protect me from being scutched off and then if we turn that out and hit F7 you'll see that entire room is spawnable so I'll go and wander up here because there's a few things I need to make didn't need quite need all those conveyors um, now the next thing we're going to need to make is two diamond dollies. Um, now that is obviously quite expensive, but I don't want to be making this trip multiple times. So I'm in the wrong, hang on, how many of those? I've got enough iron, but I'm not really shy of diamonds at the moment. So using three of each is not that expensive. I'm going to keep an iron dolly anyway, just to a normal one, just to, uh, Keep that as is. We'll stick that into the gadgets chest. You notice, unlike my tech, the more techy series, techy series, this is uh, a very small chest for the technical items. Uh, and uh, well, you can go in there as well. Uh, oh, we'll stick the redstone in there. I'm not, I'm not really worried about it being over there. And we need a couple of bits of wood. Uh, stick a bit of jungle. That's got lots of. So one, two, and thunk, and thunk, should give us those, and then we can do that, 
There's one diamond dolly, two diamond dollies, and we are almost set to go. I need a backpack with me. I've got plenty of food. Uh, I don't need my chisel, so you can go on the rack. And I think we are... take some blocks. Always handy to have a few blocks with us. I think we're good to go. Oh, it's raining. Do you want to see my new spell? I made this because I got fed up with raining. Uh, rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. It's just a banish rain spell. Cast on self. Nothing fancy whatsoever. So, yeah, I know where that is a witchborn. Oh, incidentally, this is um, dark glass. So, that should be a spawnable space. And if we go down, we may be lucky and actually have some... No, we haven't had any, anything spawn. Miserable gits. Doesn't matter. I'm not really worried about natural spawns anyway. I'm more interested in uh, unnatural spawns. Let's turn the light on for now. Bonk. Uh, right. What time is it? Why make a clock? Uh, not even midday yet. It's just come up. Maybe... Uh, did someone... Oh, no. Nobody sleep. We've got um, Morpheus on the server now. So... Oh, God, those bloody ocelots scare the crap out of me. This is my little tree farm. This is what I'm using to start collecting wood for my tree building project. But I'm going to head this way. Um, quite a while. Yeah, it weighs about a thousand blocks or so. Because uh, I happen to know there's a witchery circle over that way. Because I've seen it before. I heard a spider. Better not be following me because the only spiders you find in bloody um, jungles is tarantulas. Not that tough, but they are venomous, so... Anyway, I have got some travelling to do, so I will see you in a little while. Okay, we're here. We managed to make it, and it's still daylight, which is pretty good going. I'm not sure how long... how much longer daylight... how long... Oh, hey. I think I may dig in and sleep the night off, actually. Um, most of the guys on the server are pretty good when it comes to... Uh, to that and then we'll do this in the cold light of day because who wants to uh, things now I did indulge a little bit on the way and got a bit of leather and and stuff and things and stuff I'll just stick that there we'll wait for night time but the the witch so well you can just see it it's just over there behind that tree so I could go and grab it, but I'll uh, I'll use the uh, daylight to my advantage there. And I will see you in the morning. Night, night, all. And good morning. Oh, hello, Concapede. Should have brought a saddle with me. If there was a chance, I could have got um, oh, God, it's a Uver, 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 Uver Raptor, I think it is, uh, in the jungles. Ventoraptors are plains beasties. Um, if I got the concopede meat and cooked it, I could have tamed one. But we'll, we'll leave that for another day. Stick to the mission. Now, the nice thing is, let me just change that to the slightly cheaper version of the spell. And change that to my regen spell. Because I think I just saw a witch spawn. Oops. So what we can do is we can, if we blow out the stones surrounding the um, the circle, then it will get water, which I think may help us a little bit. Oops, with the spawning because it makes. Oh, you're a common witch anyway, so you're not even a spawned witch, are you? And they are daylight. Yeah, we'll take out if we take out the verticals, and there's nowhere for the oh. Take a dip in a mana pool. There's nowhere for the buggers to spawn in the daylight, which just makes it. It will macker.
I love this spell. <laughs> I don't know whether you've noticed, but range dig is is just so OP. It's up there with ranged light spells. Right, so let me go back over here. Get my two dollies on the bar. Uh, change you to draw my dry spell and. No, did I not get it? Uh, I've got to get the middle. There we go. Right. Go and grab them. One. And two. Get the old uh, bag out. And out that goes. I'll stick everything else. That I've picked up some obsidian toad because I do need that for something I'm planning later. Uh, I think that covers us pretty much everything we want there. Anything interesting in here? Uh, yeah, copyright strikes, that's what they are. If you're a YouTuber. <laughs> oh, got all sorts. Sweet corn seeds. Mmm, lovely. What artichokes, mandrakes, cucumbers, and snowbells. And you're going to go, <laughs> you do not interest me. Which I suppose is better than being her interested in me. Right, so we have got our two, two witchy spawners. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head back and uh, install them. I also noticed on the way over there was a couple of easy zombie spawners about. You are iron, you're not going to be worthwhile harvesting. Um, you know what, it's one of the things, it's just, and it just really grates my gears. It's, I know it's my own fault, there's no... Oh, hello, Tama Root. Um, it's my own fault. There's nobody to blame but me for this. But I was coming through this jungle and I saw a spot which was... I, I can hear you. I just can't see you. Uh, there was a spot which was even better than the area that I've chosen to build my tower. And I'm like, oh man, if only I'd have found that, that would have been... You know, you know, you know the feeling. I'm driving. Oh, hello! That wonderful feeling you get when you realise that you missed a build area that you think is actually better than the build area you've got. Let me just F three A that, because that'll be irritating otherwise. So yeah, I'm going to head back, and I will see you back there. Right, we're back. Uh, I've just knocked up a quick hopper a chest, and I've got a slab. Because in fact, I want two slabs. Let's let's. Let's go all out on this. Let's let's bear no expense and have two slabs. Um, reason will become apparent. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got the two witch spawners. Now the witches, obviously, I want because they have got one of the best drops uh, in terms of variety and usefulness. You know, redstone, glowstone, potion components, all this kind of stuff going on. Uh, now I'm fairly certain. I'm, I'm fairly certain. I am fairly certain that this base place is spawn proof, but um, I want to take these out for starters. And I want to put, uh, oh, not that. I want to get my slabs and put a slab there. That will allow the experience to flow out. Uh, oh, unpleasant looking nasty stone. I haven't got my chisel with me either. Oh, well, that's all right, we'll do that. That kind of tidies it up a little bit. And I'll stick my chest, chesticle, here. We'll grab them. We'll stick my hooper hopper there. We'll put that there, that there, and, and I will probably put some storage down here for getting things but then the as I say the experience can get out I can open the chest and everybody's happy that's the plan now this point down here should be nine away from any of the spawners up there so they shouldn't be taken into account for their mob cap so let's go and put the witch spawners in uh, plonk uh, hey, hey, I forgot about that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah, no. This is not good. 
<laughs> right, come here. Get. Oh. Uh, hang on. Uh, 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 right. Now, get out my two diamond dollies, which are obviously going to, ooh, stop it, and we will place, um, can I jump up there, I can, oh, how am I going to get out of, oh god, kill that, oh, not that, <sighs> Witch spawner and witch spawner, and then we can come back here, zap out all the dirt, and we can put that back where it belongs. Not that, that, uh, like that, I suppose. Close her up, switch her on. Boom. Off we go. Welcome to the wonderful world of witch spawning. And they're here. I don't think they can see me. No, good, good. And we can just... Now, at the moment, I'm obviously using a Tinker's Sword with self-repair on it, which they really ought to make more damage, more sound, you know, when they were... So we should get some healing potions out of these guys. I've got no softener in, that's, I don't think that's strictly speaking necessary, because for one thing I want to level up this sword, and I also want to level myself up. Um, and that's not a bad rate of leveling. These are going to be a pain in the backside again. So I may have to put a sorting system, but those are going to be pretty useful. Oh, hello. Welcome to my dungeon. So I'm going to grind a little bit now, um, and I will be back in a little while. Okay, that's working. I've got 30 levels. Uh, obviously, I've managed to infuse some levels into my armor, so that's all good. Uh, my sword... I'm now mastered, and I've got auto repair, sharpness, beheading, and fiery. Fiery, I didn't really want, I have to admit, and it's only a bronze sword, is worth noting as well. So, but this is not the sword that I actually want to use permanently. Um, so what I need to do is, I need to make, let me have a look at this one. This one makes strong essence, uh... And if I surround it with gold essence or blaze essence, I'll get an extreme infusion stone. So I've got loads of blaze essence, so I'll just need eight of those. Uh, which will allow me to da, 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 get an extreme infusion stone. And the use of that is to make extreme essence. Now I need six of these for this particular thing I need to make. Uh, which is going to be interesting i'm not sure whether i will be anywhere close to having enough so i've got i've got some strong essences i have got some weak essence and i've got quite a bit of essence seed i think i say quite a bit that's that's it uh anything else no let's see whether we can uh, manage this and it will all become clear eventually. Oh, I need to go and get my other infusion stones. Uh, so I need my weak infusion stone and my regular infusion stone as well. Uh, eventually, if I can take my extreme infusion stone, if I surround that in diamond essence, I can get a master infusion stone, which means I don't have to faff around with any of these other things, or emerald essence for that matter. But for now, we are looking at making as much essence as we can. So let's do that and that. This is probably nowhere near enough and I may have to grind for it. Um, so that and that and then we can split you like that, leaving one 
piddly little bit of essence left. And we take our regular and we'll do that. Oh, I've got another 64. I have got another crop worth, but that's not going to be a vast amount. So that, take those out. Uh, and then we take our strong and do that. So that makes me think, no, I'm nowhere near, am I? Extreme Essence, I can make three and I need six. So three Extreme Essence. Um, so I'm going to be farming Essence for a while because the, what I actually want to make is this, an Essence Sword which uses an infused diamond, once I've got the obsidian essence, with gold. Um, six extreme, a diamond sword on that, and that gives you a sword which is unbreakable and has plus nine attack, two better than a diamond. Um, and is enchantable. Now this is, this is of course the key element here. I'm going to stick you in there safe. <laughs> Along with the diamond dollies actually. So, I, uh, as I was saying, I know where there are some um, zombie spawners and enderman spawners and all sorts of other spawners. Um, but for the time being, it looks like I am going to be grinding essence um, between now and the next episode. So, yeah, until then, uh, I'll probably grind some. In fact, it's going to take me a while. Let me just go and use these 30 levels because... I love enchanting, especially when you don't have to go what we're going to get. <laughs> and uh, going to get these Enderman spawners is going to involve going into a <coughs> Wither Dungeon. <coughs> Pardon, excuse me. Possibly a Skelly spawner as well while we're in there. So, wrong place. That's the bedroom when it's finished. Um, so yeah, uh, I've got my potion table up here as well. So let's see, uh, you've got fire protection. So let me take our leggings and let's give them protection four. That's going to cost 14. Now, do I want anything else? Uh, you're not giving me the option of haste. So no, I think we'll just go, oops. Forgot you have to go E to enchant. So that gives me that. Now what can we do with the boots? Well again I think protection four would be good. That's gonna cost another fourteen levels. Uh and I would like haste, but of course that's not gonna happen. So we'll go with that. That gives me protection four there. It's just the circlet to do. I've only got two levels, so I've got nothing I can do there. And I really want to know what reading is. That could be very useful. And obviously like water breathing and aqua affinity and blah, 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 and everything else on that as well. Um, but yeah, that, that's got our armor a little bit. Fire protection four, protection four, protection four. So I'm feeling a little bit com more confident going into battle. Well, I'm feeling quite confident going into battle anyway. Um, just for thing, the, the bedroom is very grand, very, very large, with a balcony, because, you know, every great mage needs to come out here to address his uruk or orc or goblin or whatever forces he's got, and I don't want to be any different, I want to come out here and address my troops before we go into battle over against whatever. <coughs> but me, wheezing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be grinding. Uh, I've got plenty of bronze so I can repair that sword while I'm waiting for the uh, essences to go. I'm going to be grinding the essence and uh, until then, see you soon and bye for now.